What's the difference between the B850, X870, and even super high-end X870E chipset motherboards? And which one do you need to buy for your next PC build? Now, in order to explain the difference between these chipsets, we first need to quickly look at what a chipset actually is. Now, it's a little controller that normally sits around here on your motherboard. And what it does is it controls the communication between the CPU and everything else in your PC. Currently, the B850 chipset is AMD's more affordable design. X8 70 is their high-end option, while X870E is their real enthusiast choice for those of you who want the best of the best. The difference here is the number of PCI lanes offered by each chipset. Now on the B850 chipset, the inclusion of a PCI Gen 5 NVMe and PCI slot is optional and is at the discretion of the motherboard manufacturer as to whether or not to include it. All of the Asus B850 boards give you PCI Gen 5 for at least one NVMe and a PCI Gen 5 slot, which is great. On the higher-end X870 boards, the extra bandwidth gives you PCI Generation 5 as standard and will open up the option for higher end connectivity like super fast USB 4 and better VRM power delivery. Higher end chipset boards often give you more overclocking support for this reason, but all three of these chipsets actually allow you to overclock the CPU and the memory. It's just ensuring the power delivery on the board has enough wattage to make that happen. And of course, that you've gone for a CPU that you can actually overclock. For example, the 9800X3D, you can, but last gen 7 x 3D is locked at stock speeds. Like with any PC build, it all depends on the features you're looking for and how much you want to spend. If you need high-end super fast connectivity and multiple PCI Gen 5 NVMe slots, you'll want to go for the high-end X870 or X870E design. If you're not so fussed about those features and want to save a bit of cash, there are still some awesome B850 options available, like this ROG Strix B850F Gaming, which give you the PCI Gen 5 support, decent overclocking support, and at a price that strikes a nice happy medium.